Hi folks, good morning. I'm not even sure if you're going to hear this because there is a little bit of a wind blowing and I'm not sure if my phone is picking up this recording. But I just thought I'd send this very quick message and post it on Facebook. Um, every day my dog and I, well, there he is, I'm not sure if you can see me, there he is, his name is Monty. So Monty, say hello to everybody. And um, I bring him down to the beach every morning. And just to come look at the absolute sheer beauty and wonders of God's creation. And when I stand on this beach and I hear the ocean and um, the waves crashing, I just see the awesomeness of this ocean. And you know, I think there's a chapter in Romans chapter 2, there's a scripture that says that when we see God's creation, we see two things. We see His divine power and His divine nature. And there is another scripture that says that God has given us everything we need, everything we need to live godly lives in Christ Jesus. That's God's word. Now, folks, there is something I need to share with you that is incredibly, incredibly deep in my heart and in my spirit. As beautiful as beautiful as this is around us, and if you look at the ocean, it's just absolutely I mean, awesome, if I can hold my phone correctly. Um, but most of you living here in Port Alfred would know that the, the beach is just stunning. But as beautiful as this is, and as peaceful as this is standing here in God's very presence, because that's how I feel. I can stand here and I can I can cry unto God, I can weep unto God, I can I can open up my heart to Him and I can sing praises to Him. And and one of my favorite things, and I'm gonna maybe just demonstrate this to you, um, if I were to kneel down, which I'm going to do right now, and whoops it is I'm going, I've just knelt down. And I, I don't know if you can see this because it's a big reflection on my screen, but I'm going to show you. Um, I don't know if you can see this, but the, I'm holding a handful of sand in my hand. See that sand over there I'm holding? There's a whole lot of sand in my hand that I'm holding. Now, now folks, here's the reality. I don't know if you can see that. But here's the reality. As I'm holding these grains of sand in my hand, the question is, and if you look at my hand again, I'm going to show you my hand again, after, after the sand has gone off, and you see that there's still lots of grains on my hand. There's a lot of grains of sand on my hand. Now, why am I saying this to you? Well, it reminds me of the story of David. David had sinned with Bathsheba. And he let himself down, he let his family down, he let his wife down, he let his children down, I guess. He let, he let God down, he let the nation of Israel down. And he should have really, under the law, been stoned. But you know, there came a time when David sat next to a river. And, and David said these words to God. Restore unto me the joy of my salvation. Create in me, O God, a clean heart and a right spirit within me, that I may go and that I may turn others from their ways. And then he said these words, coming back to the sand that I was holding. David said something, and I can imagine I'm sitting next to that river, and uh, the reason I say river is because many times he said, things about sitting by the river and he, at one stage he looked at a little deer, a little buck, he called it a doe, that came running, came walking gently rather down to the riverside drinking water and he wrote the words, very famous words, where he said, as the doe pants after the water, so my heart pants after you. And then he wrote these words concerning the sand, he picked up the sand in his hand, I imagine and looked at the grains of sand and realized that he couldn't even count the grains of sand in his hand. And he said these words to God. He said, he said, Lord, 
if I were to count the number of thoughts you have towards me every single day, and those are only good thoughts, if I were to count the thoughts you have towards me every single day, they would outnumber the grains of sand in the world, and even outnumber the number of stars in the heaven. And scientists will tell you there are more stars in the heaven than there are sea sand, um, sea sand in the world. Okay. So, folks, we serve an awesome God. We serve an amazing God. But just my confession to you. As beautiful as this surrounding is, and I just look at those wonderful waves breaking there. I wish I had a surfboard right now. Um, as wonderful as it is, just looking at God's beauty, I want to say to you that there is also an ugliness. There's a very deep, dark spiritual ugliness involved in the church, in the body of the Lord Jesus Christ. That ugliness is as a result that ugliness is as a result of Satan doing a work in the church and in, among Christian believers. You know, the Bible says it is a good thing for brethren to dwell in unity. It's a good thing. God looks down and he sees unity. It's a good thing. The Bible also says it is a good thing for men to give praise unto God. But sometimes what happens is things creep into the church and they're ugly things. They really are very ugly because they're from the devil. And these things cause division among men and women, cause division among church members, cause division among churches. And it's going to be my unfortunate duty this morning when I get back to my home to address one of these things. And it's as a result of a post that was written on the Facebook group that I'm an admin of. And the Facebook group I'm talking about is Port Alfred Christian Community. And um, somebody posted a post on there. And for a couple of days, I've actually been very troubled in my spirit. I've been very troubled in my heart regarding this. And I actually began to respond to it. And then God just put a heaviness in my heart and I stopped doing that. But today, because new things have come to light, I'm going to have to uh, respond to that. So folks, forgive me if I, when I post the video, this video that I'm making now, just walking on the beach, is just an idea that I had while I was walking out to share the awesomeness of God's glory and His absolute beauty with you. But when I get back, I'm going to have to make the video and, you know, I served as a deacon in, in several churches throughout the years from 1977 until now, well until 10 years ago. Um, and when I was a deacon, we had to deal with issues in the church, and some of them were very ugly. And here is an issue that has arised on, on Facebook. And because this gentleman, this brother in the Lord, he, uh, he said certain things that I've had to read his post several times through, and eventually it was found that um, the things that he wrote could be a big stumbling block to younger Christians because what he wrote um, wasn't entirely true or correct and I'm going to have to deal with those particular points when I get home and so I, I just want to say that you know when I get home I'm going to to make this video and strange enough, folks, last night I came under such satanic attack. I couldn't go to sleep because of the heat, but I had a lot of physical pain in my body. Um, and this morning I, I woke up with a terrible, terrible spasm in my leg um, that has caused me a tremendous amount of pain. And I just realized that even mentally and spiritually and physically, Satan can attack us when we're about to to do something and um, I'm not going to prevent Satan from from preventing me from putting up the video so folks I just want to sign off and again let me just share the absolute beauty of God's creation 
and he's awesome this there's the pier on the left hand side look at the sun shining and glittering against the, side, the, the, the sea that is for me one of the most beautiful sights in the world and I am so blessed to be alive I'm so blessed to be a child of God I'm so blessed just to appreciate everything that God has given us but folks for now I'm going to sign off and then uh, make the video and uh, We'll see you later and I'm encouraging you to look at that video and um, just, to, just to really take it in what I'm going to share and in the context of why I'm going to share it. May God bless you and may you have a wonderful, wonderful, spiritual, joyful life in Jesus' name. Amen.